Pierre Bourne. It is a sad sight to see. I'm not going to lie. So, I have not been... Uh, how do I phrase this? I'm a supporter of Pierre Bourne as an independent artist. Don't get me wrong. As in, like, he makes his own music, not necessarily just being a producer. I like his solo work. However, you know, it hasn't worked out as well as uh, he would hope with the recent projects like Good Movie and then the last one with TM88. I don't know. They just didn't hit as hard as T-Lot 4, T-Lot 5. He was in his bag. So if he keeps going with that lane, he's going to be killing it. I don't know if he'll ever reach like mainstream success because he's got more of a... I don't know. He actually has a mainstream sound because he's melodic and whatnot. But his marketing, I just feel like, could be stepped up. And like his, his aesthetic and all that. Also, if he just kept producing, we've talked about this so many times. If if he kept producing for like big producer uh, artists like Drake and Cardi and all these other big mainstream acts, his name would be bigger. And therefore, when he dropped as a solo artist, more people would tune in because it's almost like free promo. Plus, you're getting paid from the 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 beats, right? So it's a win win. But I understand that he needs to focus on his own music. So he's richer than me. What can I say? However. Now his artists are coming out and and kind of, just just read this man. So a fan for Chavo who is Pierre Bourne's artist on Sauce House, a fan says, "Ain't even know Chavo's World 3 dropped." He said, "Yeah, no one did. That's what happens with no promo and marketing." And Pierre Bourne said the unforgivable word by white people at least. Um and so this is this is low-key kind of a it's it's kind of shade it's kind of shade blaming it on his label and as he should but at the same time this is what we were talking about with the opium shit where where uh save the world was talking about opium being a horrible label but at the same time like they don't necessarily need to market their artists because it's already done the fans do it so when other people try to i don't know emulate it it just doesn't work as well. And so maybe that's what Pierre Bourne was trying to do it, trying to do with Chavo and uh, his other artist, Shark, right? That's his name, Shark Boy and Lava Girl. And because he's been around Cardi, so he kind of like has the sauce a little bit, but it just doesn't work because he's not Cardi. So the, the, the cosign just doesn't work as well. Plus, Pierre Bourne just isn't that big of an artist himself. So it's just... How can you promote your artist and just solely rely on yourself or your name that he's under your label if you're not even like huge yourself? And that's no diss towards Pierre Bourne because I'm just trying to be logical here. Pierre, I love Pierre Bourne, but Chavo is, is probably rethinking like, damn, I was supposed to be. I was supposed to be this level, this level. My label ain't doing anything. We're supposed to be on all these Instagram pages, all these TikTok influencers are supposed to be posting my sounds. That's that's literally what it is. Or like the YouTube ads running up, the Instagram ads getting my Twitter in, in, uh, interactions up. It's just crazy. Shark, the hardest one in his label. I don't know. Because I'm on this dude's camp. Like, I don't even... I, I don't even really tune into his artists because I don't even know when they're dropping other than like, I mean, when when their label, when their label starts running their campaigns, that's the only time I know because we're like posting them. But uh, other than that, like organically, I have no idea what's going on. I'm more so just tuned into Pierre Bourne. That's why I think that the detriment to having an artist run label is that when... The artist isn't necessarily big. You have to rely on them focusing their efforts, not necessarily on social media, as in like them giving you the cosigns. You have to actually do the behind the scenes work into their aesthetic, their music, their promotion on all these social medias. Um, but not everybody's Cardi, not everybody's Kanye, not everybody's Drake, where they can just like do a song with them, a feature, and then it just blows up because Pierre Bourne, unfortunately, just doesn't have that effect. Although he does have a strong fan base, but it just doesn't, it's not going to make, it's not going to push the needle enough where you don't have to do any marketing. Large, not large enough doesn't mean bad. Yeah. I mean, look, I'm not, I'm talking about strictly numbers and success with marketing but if the artist on your label is 
dissatisfied with their promotion like that's a problem and i'm just trying to explain why rather than people being like no i like their music it's so good well pierre born for sure can be a good executive producer and tell you what sounds good because like he's probably one of the best in the game at that because he actually knows how to engineer he knows how to make the beats and and mesh it with the vocals so it all aligns together in a way different way than just a rapper who's spitting on the mic and then it just somehow sounds good because they get lucky i don't know but once you get past that like the best music in the world could still be unheard if it's there's bad marketing